Welcome back to uh, this tutorial. So this tutorial is a continuation of the last um, setting up the GeoJungle project uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll basically be dealing with uh, uh, quite a few things. So we will be setting up models or models that will carry uh, spatial data. So um, looking at what we had uh, initially on the other project. So this is where we left it at. Uh, we left uh, the last task was basically creating an application and that application was called resources so inside these resources this is where we'll uh, create our uh, models our views forms and all that so um to start off so i need to get to this model dot py and uh, of course this is where we'll create our our, our models so um so we'll basically start with the first one, which is a point with we carry basically point data, and this will be the location of the coffee point, uh, the coffee shop. So I'll have a um, uh, class, so where I can call it uh, a shop, or I can basically call it a, let me call it a shop. But depending or regardless of the name that you want to give it, you can basically uh, uh, do that. So. Um, Okay, so we can call it shop. So we have a uh, models dot uh, model. So here we can start with the various attributes or various uh, fields that will go into the shop. So we can start with maybe the name of the shop, which uh, basically will be a character field, and uh, we can define a maximum length of a uh, hundred. I know there are some shops that uh, basically have be bigger or longer names and then here um, uh, probably if you wanted to have this name as unique you can define the unique uh, option there um, you can maybe have unique equals true so this will basically ensure that there is no other shop or two shops sharing the same name um, <coughs> then um, we can have uh, types of coffee uh, maybe the types of coffee that they they sell so this this field or this um, attribute we can have it as a uh, um, a many to many uh, field so we can have many to many and um, at the top here we can have another model of uh, uh, coffee types okay so models dot model where basically we have just the name of the coffee so i can just copy this one here okay like that and then we can maybe have a description description okay there and this we can have maybe this can be a text field or a character field depend, depending on the what you want to call it so here we'll go to many to many. Um, is that the many to many or many? Yeah, we can have many to many. So here we basically have that. And then um, we have something like um, maybe the locality. Locality of this uh, coffee. Or maybe we can have street. Street name. So the other model actually that will be handling will be street. So uh, that will basically be another model. So uh, street name, we have models dot uh, another character field. Um, uh, sorry. So we have max where we get uh, maybe 50. Okay. And then, um, uh, of course, you can have uh, multiple or so many attributes. Well, we, of course, you can add those as we go by. Uh, the most important that uh, we want us to focus on is the location, which is uh, basically will be. So there's something that you need to do here. So if you look at the first uh, line, which is basically the default line that comes with this file, it's Django DB, uh, Django .db import models. So if you are to um, try and dice, call this, for example, here we want to put a point field. Oh, sorry. We want to put a point field like that. You see, it's not even giving me a hint. 
So this one remains white in color compared to these others because you cannot get or there's no class for point field within these models uh, uh, within these models so um we have to import models or classes that are within the gis um uh, co uh, com component or the gs module so here i have to do um sorry i'm too fast from django dot so here whatever we put within the settings here this this is where we'll be getting it from so it will be django uh, dot contrib dot gis then we go to db here we can import models so here notice what has happened the moment i type s this turns its color meaning now it can see the point field from uh, this but there are some people who prefer if you look at this these are uh, import models they say these models someone will be basically uh, you might want to separate them so you might say from that db import models um sorry my bad okay import models as gis models you can have it like that so now we take this and we replace it with this one here okay so that one will work and um we basically uh, be able to get uh the point field then for point field such a field we need to define what we call a uh, srid srid is the spatial reference id and uh, in this case i'm using 4326 so there are quite a number of srids you can of course check those uh within your gis uh, documentation or within uh, uh the various resources that you are using um the reason i'm using 4326 is because of the latitude and longitude um it's the easiest uh format to consume or even to read so i'll be using uh that option i don't want to have problems where uh, i have to know or to define where i'm currently located 4326 takes care of that uh automatically or basically worldwide okay then i can have that no this is python 3 so i can that so it of course gives me uh, a hint on what i need to fill in so let me just edit a bit and then so here i will return basically uh the self dot name so this is basically what will uh, be returned if i need to access this model and then i forgot to add this uh, definition within here okay yes so now i have these two models uh -huh. so that's it so if i save all right so one other thing i need to do um is basically add this uh, application uh called resources to my installed apps here so i'll add it here resources like that okay and also i can probably add this into my jungle uh, into my admin which is basically here where i can say from models import coffee types and shop okay and then here we'll have admin dot sorry um let me just call it type type admin which is basically the first so this is admin dot model admin i can just give it pass um and then here i register the first um model so which is a uh, register we register um, the type uh what did i call the model ah sorry it's coffee type not the type there then i have another admin dot register and then i have shop i can call it uh, shop admin so we shall see in later uh, stages where we'll add um 
uh, spatial components within the, um, the admin specifications. So for now, I'm just using the default ones. So that um, if now I run the Python manage make migrations, um, I'll get those two models created and inside here I'll get a migration file which is basically defining whatever needs to be done and then I can now do my migration migrate okay yes so now I have my my files with the various uh, information points uh, I have my admin populated I have my models populated so here we can continue populating as much as possible. So I want to go to the other uh, uh, street, which is basically the other model, which is uh, polygon uh, po polyline. So models dot model and that. So for the streets, we can have again, we can have the name. Um, I need to copy this stuff. There's so many to type. Um, then <coughs> we can have a description, um, so models dot text fields can have those as text fields. Um, yes. And then we have the, uh, geom or basically the geometry so here. We have a GIS models dot line string field. Okay. Then I can just copy this. All right. Then the last uh, model I want us to have is basically for county, which is basically the area where the coffee shops are located because uh, there are some queries that will be carrying out depending on um, the location of these shops. So we have that. Of course, we have the name. Uh, let me just copy this um let me reduce this to 50 equals 50 and then we have code of the of the basically can have four so the county codes and then of course we have the geom which will be um uh gis models dot so here we can have polygon field or you, depending on the data that you have you can have a uh, multi-polygon so here i forgot actually to put um, srid 4326 so srid 4326 All right so there you are and then uh let me just do this so let me return that. All right. So here I'm returning names because uh, basically we can see names are unique. So we don't expect uh, situations whereby a value will be two values will be returned. So I have street and county. Let me just uh, add them here. So of course I can add street and county. Okay me just uh, laziness okay then this is a uh, this car street and then this other one is basically county okay because these are uh, these are admins are basically carrying geospatial data we can change uh, this to a a geo admin so here we can have uh, from Django dot contrib dot gis import um, admin so the admin here will basically go hand in hand with the, the other one but it has to come after if it's before there are chaos so this one let me just change this um, so here this will be admin.osm geo admin okay all right so now and i go to my admin here 
and I try to open one of these and I try to add a shop you basically find um, a map component uh, of course it says this way because I uh, see some tiles are, are not loading if I look at this I can basically see that there are some files or there are some resources that are not loading so basically I can see the tiles the open uh, tiles are not loading so of course those are things that uh, one can check but what I wanted us to see is that uh, at least we can see the form and the map component available and it even tells you where your cursor is the scale and the, um, the attribution of this uh, map component so um, basically let me just refresh this this one should be on the side here yes like that so okay and for all you'll be having this kind of option so there's a, a point and features to help you or tools to help you draw the various uh, geometries so um that's how uh, you're basically able to add uh, these are uh, spatial layers or spatial models into your project in the next tutorial we shall see how to sort out issues like this how to use better um uh, b better tools and of course uh, make the application a bit more uh, uh, diverse or a, a bit more uh, usable all right so that's it if you have any questions on creating um, special models can you let me know in the comment section and remember to subscribe so you get notified of the new videos uploading to the channel so cheers guys and have fun